Hello everyone, my name is Anna Schilling. I am a seasonal interpretive ranger at the Cumberland Trail State Scenic Trail. I'm here today in the beautiful North Chickamauga Creek Gorge talking to you all about plants. So here is a red buckeye. This is a very common plant that we have around the southeastern United States. It is often found in mesic deciduous forests, um, low woodlands, much like where we're at right now, swamp margins, and along river edges. So as with all buckeyes, they have um, these five shiny leaflets. The red buckeye is also very easy to identify because it will have these red tubular flowers, which are a very important nectar source for early hummingbird migrants. The next plant I am going to show you all is called a Carolina vetch. It also goes by another name called a wood vetch. This plant is really cool because it is a host plant for the silvery blue butterfly, which is a butterfly that's really common in this area. So whenever I say that it is a host plant, what I mean by that is that adult butterflies depend on this plant to raise their larval young, which are caterpillars. So female butterflies will lay their eggs directly onto their host plant, so that way their larvae, their caterpillars, do not have to travel far to feed because caterpillars are very vulnerable to predation. So this is a really common spring wildflower. This is a Sweet Betsy trillium. Trilliums get their names because they always have those three sets of leaves. And this trillium is named Sweet Betsy because it has this sweet, almost banana-like smell to it. So if you're never sure if the trillium you're looking at is a Sweet Betsy, you can just um, get down and smell it. This also has another common name called Toad Shade. And that is because if you look at the mottled leaves, they do kind of resemble um, almost like toad skin. So this is one of my favorite wildflowers. This is Phlox. Phlox have this really vibrant color flower that really stands out in the Tennessee um, ecosystem and environment. And the word Phlox actually is Greek for flame. So sometimes these are called flame flowers. And like I said previously, that is because they have that really vibrant color. There are about 50 to 60 species of Phlox in um, the world, most of those are in North America, so we are very lucky. And there are about 11 species listed in Tennessee. Phlox are a very popular flower with gardeners because they do provide that vibrant color pretty much all spring and summer. They're also very low maintenance. I have personally had phlox before and they are very sturdy, uh, very hard to kill, which I do appreciate. <laughs> So thank you all for joining me on this virtual wildflower walk. I know that these are really crazy times and that we're all practicing shelter in place and self-quarantining. So I am planning on making more of these videos, so please leave a comment on certain videos that you would like to see. Thank you all. Stay safe.